Hi there and welcome to a core session. As you can see, I have my mat here and everything we're doing today is on, on the ground, okay? So whether you've got a mat or a towel or you're on a nice piece of grass where you don't need a mat or a towel or on the carpet, let's slowly make our way down there. I'm gonna start off on our back. I'm gonna go straight into doing some curl ups. Okay, so you can see my legs there at around a 90 degree angle. And all we're gonna do is ever so slightly lift our chest up like so, maintaining that curve in your lower back here. We're not coming all the way up into a, into a crunch, we're just doing a curl up like so, okay. So if you want a, to a bit more of a challenge, you can bring your opposite knee to your elbow. So if I was to do that, you'd be going right knee, uh, correction, left knee to right elbow, and then left elbow to right knee. But otherwise, if you're happy, this is the first level. We're gonna come up, do a curl up. We're gonna lead with our chest more so than our head. You'll have a natural inclination to wanna to lead with your head, but try and lead with your chest instead. Okay, so we're gonna go up for 10. Okay, that's three, four, five, drawing your belly button in, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's have a bit of a rest. We can stretch out. So I'm gonna do three sets of these. And when you're ready, let's bring our feet up again. If you get any discomfort in your lower back, what you can do is you can actually straighten one leg to take a little bit of stress off your lower back. So I'll do this next set with one straight leg and one bent leg. Okay, so here we go, another 10. Leading with your chest, drawing your belly button in, and breathing out as we curl up. So it's, and back in as we come to the flat position. Okay, that's eight, nine, and 10. Coming back to lying down, legs out, and if you would like, take your arms above your head to stretch your body out. A few deep breaths, and now this time I'm gonna straighten my left leg, so I'll bring my right leg up, and here we go. Another 10, drawing that belly button in. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good work. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do some feet slides. So we're gonna bring our hands underneath our bum cheeks, okay? So we're either gonna do a, uh, a foot slide like so, so your foot will stay in contact with the ground the entire time, and then you will bring it back in to that starting position and then do the opposite leg. If you do have quite good uh, abdominal strength, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch that leg out and not uh, have any contact with the floor for that foot. Bring that one in and then do the same thing with the opposite side. Okay, so two levels, first level and a little bit easier as if that foot stays in contact with the ground. Um, the next level and the more challenging level is if that foot uh, remains in the air the entire time. Okay, so here we go. You choose which one you want, level one or level two, and we're gonna do 20 in all that's one, two, drawing your belly button in. That's three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 16, four more, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, rest. Take your arms out above your head if you would like. Stretch your abdominal muscles out. Take a few big deep breaths. And hands back below your bum cheeks. Okay, here we go. Another 20. If 20 is a little bit too many for you, just do to a certain number that you feel comfortable with, but feel challenged with, and then you can have a break and, and um, we'll catch up. You'll catch up. Okay, that's halfway. 12, 13, 14, 15. Four more, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, rest again. We'll do our third set. So stretching out if you'd like, you can take your legs out in front of you also just to get a bit of an extra stretch there in your, your lower abdominals especially. Okay, let's bring our legs back into the starting position. Our hands underneath our butt cheeks just to prevent us from arching our back too much. And here we go, another 10, or if you're, correction, if you're doing another 20, but if you only wanted to do 10, that's absolutely fine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great. Done with the feet slides, let's have a bit of a stretch out. A few big deep breaths, and then we're gonna roll over and come up onto all fours. Okay, so take your time to do that. Once you get in all fours or in a uh, tabletop position, we're going to do some bird dogs, and I will We'll give you a couple of variations of the bird dogs also. Okay, so uh, level one will be just one arm out in front of you like so, and bringing it back to the start. If you've got quite good balance and core strength and you've done bird dogs before, we can take out one arm and the opposite leg with those toes pointing down and try to, uh, we'll make a fist also and trying to push that thumb down to the ground to really straighten that arm out like so. When you do extend out with a bird's dog like that, you want to stretch right through your body, okay? So from the tip of your toe to the tip of your thumb there, you're trying to push them away from each other. That'll help keep your, your body nice and straight. Okay, so once again, we level one, just one arm, um, or 
If that's even a little bit easy for you uh, and you want to mix up, you could just do one leg. But if uh, you're up for the, the full bird dog, it'll be one arm and the adjacent leg. Okay, so we're gonna do about, let's do six in total. So we're gonna go one, hold it for five seconds, two, three, four, five, and down. Balance yourself out again. We're gonna do the opposite side now. So it'll be one, two, three, four, and five. Then opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, and down, and one, two, three, four, and five, and back to the other side, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're just gonna do two sets of the bird dogs, but we're gonna, in between each set, we're gonna do some caterpillars. Okay, so if this causes any pain on your knees, you might wanna get a, a rolled up towel and put it below your knees, just so there's a bit of extra cushioning. Okay, so with the caterpillars, we come up to a kneeling position like so, and we come down, put our hands on the ground and walk out as far as you can, as far as you feel as though you're in control and slowly walk those hands back in. If you've got quite good core strength, you might be able to come out to right out in front of you like so, as long as your back, you don't have a big arch in your back, okay? You wanna keep that flat the whole time. So we're gonna do eight of them. So that's number one. Okay, it's two. That's three. Four. And five, coming up to kneeling position. Get your body nice and straight before you go back down again each time. Okay, two to go. Okay, now we're gonna go back into tabletop position and straight into our second set of bird dogs. So if you're feeling a little bit fatigued now and you wanna do just the, just the arms or, or just a single leg, then go for it. Otherwise, here we go, we're gonna do the full bird dog. Do one, two, three, four, five, and down. And really stretching your body out. Four and five and one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that will do. Right, oh, going to come back and do a, another set of caterpillars and then we're done for the day. Okay, here we go. So walking out that caterpillar, taking it as far as you can or as far as you can maintain control. If you're starting to sag down in the lower back, don't take it out so far, just do nice little steps. Really concentrating, especially now we're becoming a little bit fatigued. We want to draw that belly button into our spine. We don't need to 
do it as hard as you can, but just hard enough that you can just firm up your spine, firm up and protect your spine. Okay. That's... Okay, we're just gonna do a few more and we will be done. And one more. Okay, fantastic. Have a nice stretch out. Just gonna come back onto the mat for a few seconds and give our abdominal muscles a bit of a stretch out and then we'll be done for the day. Okay, so find yourself in a comfortable position, stretching your legs out, arms up above your head, um, if you have any issues getting your arms up above your head, if you have any problems with your shoulders, just uh, draw, we can have our arms down by our sides, but just stretch out through your shoulders without actually lifting your arms up. So just take a few big deep breaths. Try and relax those muscles that are probably quite fatigued about now. Through your nose, yeah, out through your mouth. Okay, you can stay there for a little bit longer if you would like. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the core workout. Thank you very much. Bye bye.